Hey Glam Fam, so today we're doing a wig review for Wow African and this is going to be on one of their kinky straight wigs. So inside the box you have a pamphlet like this here. It goes ahead and discusses care instructions as well as some different other models of wigs they have as well as YouTubers they've worked with. Uh, it's got tons of great information in there. They also had a Christmas card, uh, aka also a Happy New Year's card in there just to appreciate you for your purchase. And then in there is also a cash back card to discuss how you can earn cash back on future wig purchases. Now let's go ahead and have a look at what else is in there. So the wig comes in a bag like this. It also came with a stocking cap and a comb. And to take this wig out of the bag, it is a satin bag by the way, which is nice for storing your wig in there later. Um, it comes in a plastic bag this way. And if you go ahead and unfold it, we'll go ahead and pull this baby right on out. Now let me go ahead and take this netting off of here. And this is what the wig is looking like. This is a 360 unit and it does have three combs in there, which I'll show you a little bit more closely in just a moment. It does have this cool adjustable strap in there too, which is kind of like a bra strap, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so you've got three combs, two by the ears, one long one in the nape with this adjustable strap here that just buckles right in like a bra strap. You can adjust the length on it if need be to make it tighter or looser. Um, and the portions that would actually touch your head, because at first I was concerned the hooks would snag against your hair, but the portions that touch your hair are almost like uh, a soft like velvet, not quite like velvet, I don't know, it's just a very soft material. Uh, soft to the touch doesn't cause like any abrasion or anything like that. So. It, from what Allison said, it was rather comfortable. Um, obviously, if you wear a bra, you'll probably have a better time with getting this together because I was on the struggle bus for real. Uh, but nonetheless, you guys can kind of see that's how the piece comes and the smooth portions of it are what touches the head. So, yeah. Um, it does also have the adjustment straps in the back as the usual unit would. It has partially bleached knots and it has a less dense hairline so it's not ridiculous around the hairline. Hair is very soft to the touch. I did not notice any split ends at all uh, and I love the fullness on this unit. I have to say it is very nice. I have no complaints. From there I'm going to go ahead and pop this baby onto the canvas wig block. I like to work on wigs on here. Uh, just because it helps out. We're going to bunch up the excess lace and pin it down just to kind of hold secure. Um, this just kind of helps to keep everything neat and secure instead of just having lace kind of hanging everywhere. Up close you guys can see the, the knots have been bleached but they've only been partially bleached. Uh, if you head back a little deeper you can see where they have not been bleached so they're darker through here. So that's something to keep in mind. It's also less dense around the hairline so if you wanted to call it pre-tweeds you could but it just gives a more natural look and feel to that hair there as well. Uh, so I'm going to start off by spraying a little bit of hairspray and combing the hair in the direction I would like for it to go. So I'm going to comb it away from the face and off to the side just to give a little bit of lift here. And uh, we're going to do that while the hairspray is slightly damp. Now keep in mind I said a little bit of hairspray. If you put too much you will not be able to comb through. So this hair is pretty soft but you guys can see the lift that you get out of that is pretty amazing. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get that hair in a general shape that I want it in so that way as I'm curling with this curling wand here by uh, Babyliss, this is their Nano Titanium Curling Wand, um, I'm going to go ahead and curl starting away from the face and then some toward the face and I'm just going to alternate on the direction of them. It honestly took only like three or four seconds for each piece that I curled. Uh, in order for it to kind of take that shape. So it curls really easily and um, the curling wand works rather nicely as well. And this one is a professional quality curling iron but I do like that it does have a little safety tip on the end so it's a little bit more difficult to burn your hand. And we're honestly just going to alternate like that throughout the entire wig. And yeah, same old same. Um, at the top, we're going to go ahead and encourage that body that we've created. So you guys can kind of see I'm curling so it has a bit of a bump up there already. And um, I like this hair. It has a nice texture to it. Even with curling it, it still kept that natural look to it where it just looks like blown out natural hair, if that makes sense. So just following that same pattern all the way through and I'm just going to use it to create that part line that I want a bit more. 
This is the curls when it's totally finished being curled. And from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and finger through these curls some as you guys are seeing here. Once I've done that, I'm gonna give it another spray around the hairline. And then I'm gonna use the coolness of the can to help encourage that shape that I want and to meld all bubbles out of the wig. All right, you guys, so I got this baby styled out. You guys can see it's got a massive degree of lift. Look at this volume. It is amazing. I love the movement and the shine on this hair. And honestly, this is really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it on Allison and I'll let her give you her final thoughts. Of course, I've gotta trim the lace off. If you don't know how to do that, basically, I've got it on a couple other videos, but you're gonna take a pair of really sharp shears, Take them as close as you can get up to that hairline without cutting into it and just cut all the way through there. Make sure they're sharp. If you don't know how to do this, have a hairstylist do it for you. And yeah, let's dive into it. So you guys, so let me just tell you how I'm feeling about this right now. So basically this wig is really nice, soft. It's very textured, so it feels like if someone touched my hair, I'd be like, yeah, girl, her hair is always looking nice. See? Oh my gosh. It feels really, really nice. I really like the hairline. I think the only thing about this hairline is that on the sides here, you guys can see that they go a little bit longer than I would like. If I make a few adjustments by pulling it back some and... Hold on, let me see, let me show you. I have a small head, I think. It's not tiny, but it's small. And I probably cut that out, either cut it out or, um, cause if you cut it out, then you won't have the straps, which the strap is very nice, very comfortable. You feel like, you know, you do whatever you want to do and it's not gonna come off. So I like that. Other than that, I think this baby is nice. Um, you guys tell me if you think that this looks like it could be on my head. <laughs> so anyway. Um, I like the fact that it's very textured the way it is. It looks like it's just been blown out for those ladies that like to have um, that natural look. Like they don't, they if they do decide to wear a wig, they don't want it to look like, um, oh, she just put a wig on today. No, they want to look like, no, I just blow my hair out today and I just decide to do this or to do that or whatsoever. Not a big change because everyone doesn't want you to feel like um, they got a wig on. You know, some people do want to keep that a secret. And I think this definitely is as realistic as it gets. It really is. I mean, it's so full. It's full of bounce. It is just so nice. And I can imagine that you can do some awesome twist outs with this or three strand twists, some rod sets. I think pretty much anything. You can do this on a mannequin head and then go ahead and um, take it down in the morning or whatsoever and have that look and have it stay. I also like the strap that they have in, in there. It is extremely adjustable. I mean, you don't even have to have it if you want to. If you want it smaller, if you want it bigger, it works out. And then the the material on the inside, I'm not sure what the material is, but the material on the inside is this very soft material. It doesn't feel bulky. Really, I don't even feel where the actual material is. That's how smooth it is. Because a lot of times you get those straps are in the wigs and they're you can feel the straps they feel very dry and very abrasive against your skin if you have happen to have them laying down here like i do a lot of times um but this is just smooth i i can't feel anything i really don't so this is not something that's cheap either i know because I, I buy those straps from um other stores and they're very dried out and feeling cracked like they don't have much stretch to them and sometimes i have to just mess with it. But this one comes out of the box straight, ready to use, no problem. Put it on if you want, don't, if you don't want to. So, yeah, so you guys tell me what you think about this density and about this hairline. The, um, the, the roots are bleached. I think they look pretty good. Um, I'm not really into the whole uh, taking the knots out and things like that in the front of the hairline. But you can still do it if you want to with this. I think it looks pretty good the way it came. Um, 
and it's really full and it feels fun and it's just it's natural looking and it's very natural feeling too.